So we're going to start by taking a look at problem 410a from this past week's homework, which was 683 divided by 4. The way that they show you to do this in the toolkit is a little different than what you learned in 4th and 5th grade, and I don't want you to worry about that too much right now. That's something that we'll look at a little bit closer next week. For now, I'd really like to just have you review how you did this uh, when you worked on division in 4th and 5th grade. So you might remember drawing a division bracket with 683 divided by 4, shown this way. And then you would usually draw uh, a line down the side like this. So remember that when we do this problem, we're really thinking about how many times does 4 go into 683. And the way that I like to think about this is imagine that we had 683 pennies dumped out on the table here, all over the place, and I ask you to put them into stacks of 4 for me. So what we're really trying to find out is how many stacks of 4 can you make? Well, one way that we could figure that out would be just to start take off, taking off 4 at a time. So we take 4 off of 683, and that leaves us with 679. That's one group of 4. We take off another 4. And now we're down to 675. That's two stacks of 4. Now we take off another 4 and we're down to 671 and that's uh, another uh, stack of four that we just took off but you can see how this is going to take a long 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 time and a lot of paper to make it all the way down to uh, using up all 683 of our pennies so let's look for a more efficient way that we might go about this I'll redraw my division bracket over here 683 divided by 4. And this time, instead of taking off just 4 at a time, I might look for a big number of 4s that I could take off. And uh, for example, I see here that I could take off 100 groups of 4. So I'm going to write 100 times 4 off to the side here. And if I make 100 stacks of 4, that uses up 400 pennies, which is a lot better than taking off just four at a time. So now we get down to 283. And then I might look at that and say, hmm, well, I can't take off another hundred groups of four, but I, I do know that I could take off 50 groups of four. And if I do that, that takes another 200 pennies off of my big pile of 683 pennies, and now I'm down to just 83 pennies that have to be stacked. And so when I look at this, I think, well, let's see, I can't take another 50 groups of 4, but I, I do know that I could take off 20 groups of 4 here, which removes 80 more pennies from the pile. And I get down to just 3 leftover pennies. Now since that's not enough to make another stack of 4, this is what we call our remainder right here. So in terms of thinking about the quotient or the answer to this problem, I would say, well, I took off 100 groups of pennies, or groups of 4 pennies, plus 50 groups of 4 pennies, plus 20 groups of 4 pennies. So altogether, I took off 170 groups of pennies, and I write that number up here. That's my quotient, or my answer. I also want to show that there were three leftover pennies, and the way that I will do that is write an R, which stands for remainder, in other words, the amount left over, three, showing that there are three pennies left over here. Now, the nice thing about this method, and I'm just going to move my camera over just a little bit, is that you wouldn't have to use these exact same numbers when you do the problem. You could start uh, in a different way. You could say 683. and we're dividing by 4, and maybe I don't notice right away that I could take off 100 stacks of 4. So maybe I just take off 50 stacks of 4, 50 times 4, which removes 200 pennies from the pile. And now I'm down to 483, and I see that I could do that again, another 50 times 4, takes off another 200, and now I'm down to 283 leftover pennies, and I could do that again, which takes yet another 200 pennies off of the pile. And now we still get down to 83. And at this point, I can say, all right, well, now I can do, let's say, maybe I didn't see I could do 20 uh, groups. So maybe I do 10 groups of 4. 
and that takes 40 more pennies off the pile. Now I'm down to just 43 leftover pennies, okay? And so I just extend this down a little bit further, and I say, well, let's take off another 10 groups of four. And that takes off 40 more pennies from the pile, and I still end up with three left over. Now, this looks a little bit different here than what I did over here, but let's add it up. I took off 50 stacks of four plus another 50 stacks of four plus another 50 stacks of four plus 10 stacks of four plus another 10 stacks of four. So 50, 100, 150, 160, 170, I still end up with a quotient or an answer of 170 groups with those three leftover pennies, a remainder of three. So today as you try your division problems, I would like you to try just using this more familiar method that you remember from last year. And don't worry about writing your answers with decimals yet. Just go ahead and if you have a leftover part, use the remainder. Thanks.